me. <laughs> you all know me, but you don't know everything about me. And I, some of you don't know me that much, that well. And I will tell you a little bit about myself. It was 2013 when I arrived to this country. It was winter time. And then a couple of months later, or three months later, it was beautiful springtime. Why I was here was because I wanted to get married to the man that I loved. But this man took time. He is known for taking time. And when you are here, you actually have a short period of time to get married. It's only 90 days. Wow. And we were close to reaching those 90 days. And I got really nervous. Not only for that reason, but also because I used to be very independent. I had my own car, I would go anywhere I wanted, I had my own money, but here, without that status, I couldn't ha open a bank account, and I couldn't drive a car. I was stuck in a house, and I was very depressed. And so there was that beautiful spring morning, <coughs> sunshine outside, and me depressed inside when the doorbell rang. So I answered the door, and there was a little angel behind the door, shaped as maybe four-year-old Goldilocks in a prince's dress. And I said, hello, how can I help you? And she extended her hand with a basket in it and said, could you donate $20, please? for something that seemed like a really silly cause to me. <laughs> and at that moment, my eyes noticed something else. At the end of this path to my house, there was a devil. And the devil had sent that angel here to torture me because I didn't have $20. And I would have to say no to that angel. And that would make me feel very guilty, hurt, and I know that I would hurt that angel. So I was extremely mad at the person that sent the little angel, but not just that. I also remember that just a week before I came to this country, there was a woman who approached me. She lived across the street, and she was a mother of my son's classmate, Samantha. Samantha was the best student in the class. She also knew how to play the piano and sing. She was extremely talented, but the family lived in poverty. There were three children in the family, mom, dad, and they lived in two rooms. And I don't mean two bedrooms plus other areas. I mean two rooms. And she approached me and said, can I borrow 20 latte? which was approximately $40, till my payday. And I said, sure, knowing that she would never return it to me because I was to fly away. But that made me feel happy anyway, because that family would have something to eat that month. So I was there in that moment, and that was the turning point for me, for my life here in this country. You know. I married a man who can support me. I wouldn't have to work if I didn't want to. But I decided that I will work. I would work and not just to buy stuff for myself that I would enjoy and I wouldn't want to ask money from my husband. I decided to make a lot of money, so much that I'm overflowing and I can contribute to good causes the causes that are important for me. And one of them is fighting poverty. Mm -hmm. And the other one is helping people to get out of that mindset that money is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. It isn't. I am a life and business coach right now. And I see people who, who look seemingly wealthy and then they come to me for some reason and they say, I'm comfortable, I don't really need money, I just want this and that. 
And behind that, I know that there is this money mindset, this problem. And I say, why do you not want more money? Don't you want to help more people? And then people change. And that brings a lot of satisfaction to me. So this is my cause. And I'm going to wrap up this speech right now, but I'm going to continue speaking about this. However, today, I would like to end with a call to action. I have started a project where I'm designing a program for business builders, beginner entrepreneurs. I have started businesses from scratch several times in my life, built very well, so I know what I'm doing. And I'm starting a Facebook page. And I would like to ask you, those of you, not everybody, but those of you who either want to start their business or for those who would like to give me feedback, because I trust you all. How am I doing with the group? Please join my group. It's called Tell Your Story, Grow Your Business. Mr. Tosnas. Tell your story, grow your business. Let's support Ilse B in her Facebook page if we can. Thank you very much, Ilse B, for that speech and telling us a little more about yourself. I sympathize a little bit with what you're saying there about coming to a new place, not speak, well, maybe you spoke a little bit of the language, but um, I understand, because uh, I, when I came to the United States, uh, I felt a little bit like that, not coming to a new land. We appreciate you sharing that with us.